Now joining us to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from all around the world are Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni and Dayo Shobuale. Mr. Emmanuel Efeni, Good glad day. to see you reporting for duty diligently. You yes, are as always. At work, not missing. As always. We don't have to look for you around the world. Well, um, <laughs> good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Dayo. Yeah. Our president is not missing. Please. He's, not. He's out of the country. Although they've not told us, we, his like employers. Like this works, man. Huh? We, his employers, we have not been told so this way. I don't now. know. But so it's out of the country. Yes. Uh, okay, you think he's inside the country? Okay. Well, we hear from okay, presidential we have, spokesman. We have given us some insight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, our president, we employed him by voting for him. So we should know his whereabouts. I think there's no argument about that. That's right. Uh, that's why perhaps the presidential spokespersons are tongue-tied at this stage. Well, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We start with a story above uh, the lead. Fubara, Rivers Assembly members no longer exist as lawmakers in eyes of law. Declares peace deal not constitutional, but soft landing for legislators. Says is shown restraint despite having all instrument of state powers. Similarly, Fubara, the executive governor of River State, uh, making that statement there, when he received a delegation from uh, Bayesha State, led by Senator Siraki Dixon. And Dio is saying that um, as far as the law is concerned, those lawmakers, or those, according to him, use the word group of persons, who call themselves lawmakers. Let me say it here. Those group of men who claim they are assembly members, they are not existing. I want it to be on record. And uh, he, said, he said he only accepted the, the peace deal to give this legislate, this uh, man, according to him, soft landing. The, the river's situation between... Uh, Governor Similar Fubara and his erstwhile godfather, Ian Som is the one wiki who is now the minister of uh, the federal capital territory, not about to go away. Every day no, there seems to be a new wiki out of it now. Uh, what he is doing now yes. is showing his frustration that the peace deal mm -hmm. brokered by the president. Yes, by President Bola Medinimbo. Well. And he made the point there that these people. Have no locus since they defected. Yes, have and the case is a court. defected from the party. Uh, yes, on whose platform they were elected into since parliament. They defected. You see, he said they have no locus, but he's not ready to rock the boat. That is why he says he, he has the, of, uh, uh, the official power, but you get, he's saying that if he wants, he may rule without them. No, that but which uh, parliament will he be relating with? And that's what because, he's trying to say. Uh, the last Since time they broke the law, he too can break the law. Is it law or deal? No, no, no. no. Oh, they those who defected have been, I mean, are facing uh, uh, recognition of their status in court. Yes. Uh -huh. So there is a court case. But we shall allow the courts to rule on that also. That's right. Although and at the same time, the, allow him to do his work according to the deal. Yes, al although the extant law states that if you defect from the party upon whose uh, platform you were elected, you lose your seat. Yeah, but they have, they have not been ejected. So it is the law that we do the interpretation on the game. So the, that matter is in court. Yes. Well, we've not heard the last of uh, the river situation every day. Why is showing some frustration there that is, they are not allowing There is a new chapter. Because uh, the last time a budget was passed, it was five members who were deemed to be the legitimate uh, lawmakers. Out of 23. Uh, out of 23. That in itself is another issue that altogether. Is democracy. Then, of course, before long, that budget will expire. There will be need to pass another budget. Which assembly will he be relating with? Because the speaker of that four-man or five-man assembly has since resigned and become his chief of staff. <laughs> well, some uh, naughty situation there in River State. Well, but every day there's one new twist to it. Absolutely. Yes. 
Now, if we just move over to the next newspaper, the Guardian newspaper. Consumers, uh, no, before we go there, let's look at the list story of this day. Uh, if we just come back to this day, yeah, we cannot uh, skip that story. Yes. Presidency article is distorting, distorting facts. Shei Tinubu has right to do legitimate business. Says foreign investment in stock market now 93.37 billion naira. Knocks ex-VP for alleged bitter politics. Well, we call that politics of opposition. Whether it is bitter, it is sweet, it depends on which end of the, <laughs> of the divide you belong. But that little story, Shei Tinubu, the son of the president, has a right to do legitimate business. That is fact. No, that, I don't think that is in contention. But because he's a director in a company that is uh, a sister company to the company awarded the uh, Lagos Calabar Highway, the coastal, coastal highway. Well, Atiku has been saying that, look, there's some conflict of interest there. But again, when you remember that uh, the other day when the president visited Saudi, Saudi Arabia, on the line of ministers, in fact, ahead of the ministers, was Shei Tinuba and his brother. That's a government delegation where the government has gone, the president has gone to seek investors and discuss with investors. Now, the, thin, the line between the family, business, governance seem to be thinning out. Dio. How do you have just said it? What do you expect me to say? <laughs> <laughs> you have just said it. Okay. What is there to say? Okay. So you agree with me? You don't like the, God, the president's uh, son having a job because the father is no, in No, that's not what I've said. What have you just said? I said he, uh, he, he has he legitimate. He started by saying legitimate. Eh? Yes. So what he can do, do you dilating? He can, he can do... do <laughs> He's doing a balanced analysis. <laughs> Dio, every, every, oh yeah. We're Dio, looking at it boy, from every Dio, angle. Dio, the Lagos boy, I wanted you to comment. This is Lagos people's story. I, 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 <laughs> spoke, Lagos on, people's I spoke on it yesterday. Okay, okay. So, yes, right. so let's move on to other uh, newspapers. The Guardian newspaper. Consumers seek lower tariff as NEC adopts monthly review 1,227 oh, naira yeah. to the dollar rate. On that next revised tariff order, customers on band A will pay 206.80 naira per kilowatt at an exchange rate of 1,227 1, naira to the dollar. But I don't get it. Tying tariff to now you see, exchange you, rates. You see these people. That is why some people accuse the... Uh, uh, National Assembly yes. of, uh, of uh, frequent incursions. You see, when they see this again, yes. by tomorrow or the day after, they, they, will, <laughs> they will come up with a resolution. Again. Because NERC <coughs> is on the way out because of the new act yes. and the conditions and uh, procedure you get it? to set up a, a, a power, uh, power companies. The procedures are clear. The pre that was one of the first things the president signed, the Power Act. Yes. So these people, I don't know why it is this late hour when the states are coming on board. You get me? That they started tampering with it. But you know, the uh, National Assembly has cautioned them. Yeah. Uh, they will call them. They will call them again. Well, but because see, the, yeah, it's but not as if the National Assembly is wonderful. Yes. You get me? But they were elected According there to by you, people. According, they were, they were elected into power by people. Yes. So if the people are suffering because of, they don't have power, yes. and then they are being asked to pay huge tariffs they can not afford, the National Assembly must intervene. Even their own people, the workers working in the industry, in the electricity sector. I said, hey, that I said, you know, it's not uh, the sort of tariff that people pay should be consumer-oriented. You got me? Yeah. Uh, not the one they claim. No? Well, to this. according to the new, uh, there's a slight uh, relief for Band A um, consumers. I, mm -hmm. I believe the Band A consumers would rather see improvement in power see. supply. That's it. Instead That's of this, it. Uh, so all these headlines. Uh, are, yeah. But, well, let's move on to other stories no, quickly. Power. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, federal government cracks down on illegal crypto traders. 
as SEC rolls out new regulation. That story is also on the front page of the Punch newspaper, Dollar Speculation. Federal government will ban Naira from crypto trading uh, platforms. Now, if we just look at other newspapers around the African continent, we go to Southern Africa where the citizen uh, newspaper is reporting no blackouts. It's not staged. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Minister of uh, Electricity in South Africa uh, making that statement that the absence of load shedding for just uh, more than a month and uh, of course, he said it's not an orchestrated. Uh, it's not a campaign. It's not. It's tactics. not. Yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> film trick. It was due to orchestrated effort and engineering feat by the team at ESCOM. So the ones troubled ESCOM, uh, Britain Life again, and they have this one month of no load shedding. Suddenly, suddenly, you know, South Africa is also going into winter months, and this is when the grid is usually quite overwhelmed with people using heaters, yeah. hot water, and so forth. So let's see how long they can sustain this. But my guess is that from the election day, 29th of May, going into winter, darkness shall abound. Well, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are making a, a prediction that I many South Africans are like. Minos, oh, minos. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the Minister of uh, Electricity is there saying that, look, we have put in some work, and is the result you are seeing. Ah. But let's go to uh, Harare. Yes, if uh, we don't go to Harare, we have Harare in the studio. Daily news <laughs> newspaper dealers staring down on the barrel as party more steep jail terms for forex villains. Of course, the the chief whip of Zanu PF is saying that they, they are not discussing with the finance minister to protect this new Zimbabwean currency, ZIC, eh? mm -hmm. Zimbabwean gold. <laughs> well, so that those who, are, who run foul of the law um, in forest dealings uh, will be given steep jail term. Maybe that will deter people and also protect the Zimbabwean currency. <laughs> How sweet it's, that will be. I, I just think it's ironic that, you know, both in Nigeria and Zimbabwe, we're going after the forex dealers to try and stabilize our currencies. Well, let's see if oh. that's a strategy that can pay off. Let's see. But for now, we'd like to thank you, gentlemen, for your time and your analysis. Mr. Manuel Ifeni, Mr. Daesh Shabali, thank you both.